So before I get started with this video, I just want to say a big thank you to all of you guys who watch my videos and who have just shown me so much support and I'm just so grateful for all you guys out there and I thank you so much and I already almost have 40 subscribers which is crazy and I just started within this just this year and I just am so amazed to see how far we've come together. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any comments or concerns or questions, please let me know in the comments down below and I will totally answer you back. Thank you guys, you're amazing and I love you. And let's go on and get into our makeup tutorial. So for this makeup tutorial today, I thought why not do a winter one since it is December and I thought maybe for Christmas time it'd be cute to do like a makeup tutorial for that. So I think for winter time it's really cute to have just like a subtle makeup look and maybe just do a pop of color somewhere, like maybe on your lips. Or you could even do like a kind of like a smoky eye with like a nude lip. So I'm going to show you my favorite winter look by doing it for you guys today. So in order to get this look, I'll show you guys what you need and what colors we're going to use and all that kind of stuff. So here we go. So recently I was at Target and I found this really, really cute makeup palette. It's from e.l.f., which is eyes, lips, and face. It comes with so much other stuff. Um, it's crazy. And I got it for $20 on Black Friday. Um, I know they still have it for about... I think it's still $20, I'm not really sure, but um, it comes with a big palette like this, let me show you. Looks just like that. And as you can see, there are like a crazy amount of colors, which is so fun because you can make so many different combinations um, with your shadows and you can just do so much with this palette. So when you go to the bottom, there is a full blush palette. Um, if I can show you guys right now, I'm just switching the palette so you can see. So you simply just pull out the other palette and there is a beautiful array of blushes. They are so pigmented. I know my camera is not very um, great quality, but the colors on this palette are crazy and they're so pigmented and they're just so pretty. So I know that you guys would love this. Like I said before, if you're ever on a budget, don't feel pressured to buy the things you know that you can't afford. Just simply just look at something that's similar and you can just buy that if you can afford it and just do it. Honestly, in my opinion, I don't think it's worth spending like $20 on one blush when you can get like all this stuff for like 20 bucks. So it's just all to your preference. So if you like to spend money on expensive makeup, that is totally fine. And if you can't, then that's fine too. So I'm going to get started by putting on my foundation, my face powder, and my blush. So I use the Rimmel, I don't know if you guys can see that the Rimmel Match Perfection, and this is in the color True Ivory. So what I like to do when I apply my foundation is I like to use the e.l.f. foundation brush. It looks just like this. And you can get this at Walmart or Target for like a dollar. And I'm simply just going to put some foundation onto my brush. So I'm going to apply my foundation to my face.
foundation. I just get my powder for my face, and this is in the color Natural by Rimmel, and it's the Stay Matte. So I'm just getting my sponge, and I'm gonna apply. I'm just gonna apply the powder to the face. I'm gonna go ahead and pick out my blush that I'm gonna use so I'm gonna open my palette so I'm gonna go for a nice natural color since I want to have a nice neutral look so as you can see on this palette I'm gonna go ahead and go with this nice uh, brown because I'm going to contour my cheeks so that is what I'm gonna use first so I'm gonna take my blush brush and this actually came with the kit and um, I'm going to just get some of that brown color and I'm just going to apply that to my cheekbones right underneath my cheekbones so just kind of find where they're at like just smile and you'll find your cheekbones just kind of sweep it underneath So once you have done that, I'm going to go ahead and take a nice neutral pink color, which would be this one, which is kind of a tan pink. And that's exactly what I want because my lipstick is actually going to be the focal point of the whole look. So I just want everything to kind of be more neutral and blend in compared to the lipstick, which is going to be red. Honestly, I think red is my staple lipstick. That is kind of like Miranda, like for Miranda Sings, how she has those big red lips. For me, it's just having red lips. So that's kind of my thing is having red lips and I love having red lips. So, so now I'm going to take my eyeshadow brush, which looks just like this. And this also came with the kit as well. And yes, this kit came with a lot of different stuff. It came with the eyeliner, liquid eyeliner, the brushes, everything. So eyeliner, liquid eyeliner. Everything. So it's amazing and it was only $20 so I encourage you guys to go buy it if you can so because it is really nice so let me show you guys the palette it is crazy with so many colors you can see that there's so many colors so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually before I put my eyeshadow on I'm going to put a little bit of NYX white eyeliner I'm gonna take my NYX white eyeliner it looks just like this this is I'm gonna take it and slightly sweep it under my brows. Then I'm going to go into my waterline. And this will create the look that your eye is a little bit more open and bigger than it actually is. Like so. I'm going to do the same thing with the other eye. I'm going to put it right under my brow bone. Or right on top, I, I should say. And then into my waterline. So once you have that done, now we're ready to go ahead and put on our eyeshadow. Um, just make sure that with the pencil, when you put it on your brow bone, just kind of um, spread it a little bit. Because you don't want it to kind of look clumpy once you put your eyeshadow on. And this also helps to be kind of like a, somewhat of a primer. Since it is like a shadow stick, um, it helps to keep your powder on a little bit longer. And this kit also came with a eyeshadow primer, but I cannot seem to find it. So I'm really sorry. Um, I'll try to show you guys it next time, but it's just a little bottle with a white cap. Um, for now, I'm just going to use my Urban Decay primer. It looks like this. I'm just going to use a little dab for each eye. So I'm going to put some on this eye. Some on that eye. It dries pretty fast. It dries within seconds, so you don't have to wait like forever for it to dry. So I'm going to go ahead and get my shadow. So we're going to start off with this nice white, which is in the corner. I'm going to take my eyeshadow brush, which actually came with the kit. And I'm going to get my white shadow. You can use any white eyeshadow as long as it's white. <laughs> and um, you're just going to sweep it onto your brow bone like so. The other one as well. Just going to dab it like that. And then after that, 
you're going to want to get a nice nude tan color, which is going to be this one right here, is the next color I'm going to use. And it's almost like a gold tan, which is really pretty. So that is what I'm going to use next. So I'm just going to sweep this on my lid. for a nice darker brown gold. I have this gold color in my palette which I love. It is right here and it looks so beautiful. It's really golden and I just love it. I've used it over and over and I'm going to put this kind of more towards my crease. Not really on my lid too much. Just maybe on the outer lid. Just to give it some shimmer. darker brown so I'm gonna go ahead and go all the way to the end of this palette and use this nice dark brown and this is gonna go in our crease of our eye and it's gonna define our eyes more and give it a little bit more shape done with our shadows um, if you have any fallout just use your brush like first clean your brush then kind of use it to sweep off the fallout so for my eyeliner today I'm gonna use both pencil liner and I'm gonna use liquid liner so these both came with the kit this is the liquid liner right here and this is a pencil liner and it also comes with a little sharpener which is really cute I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my lower lash line Just about halfway, like that. Other eye. Just like that, just very subtle, not too much, but not too little. So we're gonna do our liquid liner, so I'm gonna try to be gentle about it. And take your time, don't rush yourself because you'll definitely mess up. go back and just fix anything that you see is uneven or you don't like you could just fix it to make them look the same so I'm pretty happy with this so I'm not going to change it anymore um I tried to make it as even as possible but it's not going to be perfect but just try to get it as close together as possible just so it looks more even so I'm going to do my eyebrows right now because my eyebrows tend to not be very defined so I'm going to go ahead and just brush these babies out Make sure they're nice and groomed. Then I'm going to get my Wet n Wild Mega Eyes liner. Um, it's meant for your brows. It's just like a pen. It's like a it's like a pen marker. And um, I'm going to just line it with my brows and just kind of fill in my brows wherever they need to be filled.
mascara, I'm going to get my lash curler and then I have my mascara which is the Great Lash and by Maybelline. apply the mascara to her lashes. done with our eye makeup and now we're gonna do our lips which is gonna be that nice red that I was telling you about so I'm gonna go ahead and grab that right now okay so I'm gonna give you a little tip right now about lipstick the first thing is what brand should I use um for red lipstick I've used so many red lipsticks it's crazy um I think the best one I've ever tried just in lipstick in general is from wet n wild it looks like this I'm sorry it's really dirty but um, anyways, the whole point, um, I use this one and it's crazy good, and this is in the color Red Velvet. There are so many red colors that I love, but this is the one that just really stands out to me. For the Wet n Wild lipstick, it is about a dollar to 90 something cents, I'm not really sure, but it's within the dollar range, and it's very inexpensive. You could easily just buy 10 and it's not going to be expensive. However, um, if you want to go the more expensive route, if you can afford it, um, it is the MAC lipstick and they're $15 each and this is in Ruby Woo and it's a matte lipstick and I love it so much it's really good um the wet n wild one this wet n wild lipstick I have is also matte and it comes out very bright and pretty and it's very pigmented so on one lip I'll do the Ruby Woo and then on one lip I'll show you the wet n wild just so you can see the difference between the lipsticks which the difference is not very big the only thing is that um, the MAC Ruby Woo kind of tends to stay on your lips more since it is matte. It tends to dry and just stay on your lips. So I'll show you the difference between the two and you guys can decide which one you like better. So this is going to be the Ruby Woo. So that is the Ruby Woo um, MAC lipstick. So now I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Red Velvet color on the top of my lip. So as you guys can see, there's not a huge difference, honestly. The colors are very similar and they are the same texture and they're just so nice and I love both of these lipsticks. So I'm going to give you a cool fact for you guys to know. Did you know that the Wet n Wild lipstick actually has the same formula as a MAC lipstick? So technically you're buying a cheaper lipstick that has the same quality as MAC. I think the only difference is it has one different ingredient. But other than that, they're like the same. So if you want to spend $15 on one lipstick, you can go ahead, but honestly, you can save a lot more buying the Wet n Wild lipstick and still get the same great quality that you're looking for, and you don't have to nearly pay as much, so just keep that in mind. So there you guys have it. This is my Christmas look for you guys today. I hope you guys like it, and my hair is really crazy because it's getting longer, and I think I can't pull this hairstyle off anymore. I'm going to have to find a different way to style it because it's just getting way too long and big. But I hope you guys like this nice Christmas look. Um, please go ahead and try it out and see how you like it on yourself. And just thank you guys so much for watching. And I cannot wait for Christmas. My favorite time of the year is Christmas. So I am just enjoying it, listening to Christmas music and just enjoying the season. And I hope you guys enjoy the season as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. You're amazing. I'll see you next time. Bye!